Hey there, I have a few math games I want to share with you guys today. We picked these up from rainbowresources.com and they are a great addition to any math curriculum. So they're card games in which you need to combine multiple numbers in order to make either the number 24 or the number indicated on the card. And there are several different types of games. There are ones that um, focus on multiplication and division, ones that are single digit, some that are for adding and subtracting, and some that are for fractions and decimals. And they're for different age groups as well. So the youngest one is for six and up, and it's add and subtract. So we're going to start off with single digits. And for this one, you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So inside, you'll find directions. And they also come with, with examples and some pointers on how to play the game as far as like different combinations that can make 24. And this will be helpful when you are working with the cards in which you need to use all four numbers in, it in order to make 24. So let's start off with um, looking through these cards. I'm going to show you one from each level. So every card deck comes with these cards that have either one dot, two dots, or three dots and um, the f one dot is the easiest and two is medium and three is the hardest. So let's start with the first one. So for this particular game you need to use all four numbers and you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide and they need to equal 24. So we're going to try to make 24 and one of the tricks that I use a lot is to try to make a combination that has a three and an 8, so 3 times 8 is 24, or 6 times 4 is 24. So in this case, we're going to do 8 minus 6 makes 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 times 8 is 24. Let's try the next card. So for this one, we have 8 minus 7 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 times 8 is 24. Let's try the hardest one. And we get 4 plus 4 is 8, 5 minus 2 is 3, and then the combination of those is 24. So let's move on to the next game. This one is for younger ages and the level one and two of this game works pretty well for um, younger kids. I think once you get to the third level card it's a little bit more difficult. So again there are directions and there are some pointers on how to play the game and this one's a little different than the one that I just demonstrated because for this one you're going to have um, two different puzzles that you're going to try to solve or rather that you're you know you're solving one or the other basically and you're going to try to make the number that's on the card versus making 24 and for this one the answers are on the back um, and sometimes you don't get the answers but for this set you do get the answers so for this case you're gonna do 14 minus 7 make 7 and then you can just check the answer on the back and this is the first level card so it's pretty easy so let's go on to the second one, and now we're trying to make three. And so you can either work on the left puzzle or the right puzzle, but only one of them is going to work. So you have to do a lot of math computations before you can get to the right answer. And the answers are on the back, and there's different combinations to get to the answer, which is nice because you might not all find the same way to do it. But in any case, whoever finds it first gets to keep the card, and then you can add up the difficulty points to figure out what your score is at the end to see who gets the most points. So here's the most difficult of this set and for this one you know, you've got two puzzles that you're working with to figure out which one is going to make 24 and for this one it's going to be the left puzzle which is 4 plus 2 makes 6 and 6 plus 18 makes 24. Alright, so the next one is I find a little bit challenging. This one is for ages 12 and up and um, again you get directions and some pointers for this, um, for this set and you're working with integers so you're going to be having positive and negative numbers and so a little bit of a review on what makes positive and negative numbers as far as multiplication and division would be helpful before you play this game. But it's a great introduction for uh, working with integers and it's also really great for keeping those skills sharp. And so for this one we're going to get 1 minus 9 makes a negative 8 and a negative 5 plus 2 make a negative 3 and then the product of the two make a positive 24. Okay let's try another one. 
So for this one, this is level two, and I just want to point out that that is a nine up there. The nines and the six look the same, and so the ones that are filled in are nine. So we have a negative nine plus eight is a negative one, and a negative one plus a negative three make a negative four. The product of negative four and negative six make 24. Okay, and here's a level three. So we have six times nine is 54, and negative five times six is a negative 30, and then 54 minus 30 makes 24. That was a little bit tough, and that did take me a really long time to figure out. All right, so let's try um, the next one. So we have multiply and divide, which is great for ages eight and up. And this is another one where you get uh, two puzzles per card. And uh, right now I'm just showing you how many cards actually come in a pack, and there's quite a few. And these ones have puzzles on the front and back. Actually, all of the cards have puzzles on the front and back, so you're getting quite a few cards. So again, there are directions for um, each set with a couple of pointers on each one. And the cards again come with levels 1, 2, and 3, one being the easiest. And for this one, you do get the combinations on the back, and there could be more than one combination on occasion, which is nice. So for this one, we have um, 9, or rather 63 divided by 9 makes 7. And for this one, we're trying to find 8. And for these ones, you do have to use all the numbers. So we have 3 times 4 makes 12, and 12 minus 4 makes 8. So you would not be able to do 4 plus 4 makes 8, because then you wouldn't have used the 3. And again, the answers are on the back for this one, which is nice. And here's a level 3, and we're trying to make 24 for this one. And so we have 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. And here on the back, there were multiple ways to actually get to the number 24. Okay, so now we're going to do fractions and decimals, and I find this one to be one of the most challenging ones, and this is for ages 11 and up. So with this one, it's good to review um, fractions and decimals before playing this game. And if you're new to fractions and decimals, then I would suggest just playing with the easiest card, um, just the ones with the single dot, because once you get to the ones that have two or three dots, it does take several minutes, in my opinion, to actually get to an answer. And so when we are playing these games, we'll either just play for, like, say, 15 minutes or um, we'll just take out some of the easier cards depending on you know what the purpose is of the game. So for this one, we have um, 1 divided by uh, 0 0.5 makes 2, and 2 times 10 makes 20, and 20 plus 4 makes 24. And there are no answers for these, the, so the back side also has another puzzle. So here we have a neg or rather a, a decimal uh, 0.7 times 10 makes 3, and 9 divided by 3 makes 3, and 3 times 8 makes 24. All right, let's get to the hardest uh, level in this one, and we have 2 plus 5 makes 7, 7 divided by 1 over 4 makes 28, and 28 minus 4 makes 24. So I hope this video inspired you to check out some of these math games. They are a great way to add some proficiency work into your daily math curriculum. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. And if you'd like to check out some of my other math videos, please click on the screen. And if you are viewing this video from a mobile device, check the description below because I will have links to those other math videos. Okay, guys.